Hey guys, it's Monday, the 23rd of January. Uh, it's a very cold morning here in California. It's 40, 40 something. <clears throat> you know, but as you walk, you get warmed up. Uh, anyway, I'm on today to talk about feeling what is uh, that thing feeling f wanting to be free feeling free what does freedom mean to you I can remember back in school hearing freedom isn't free and uh, it has to do with um military fighting for our freedoms military in any I want to say in any part of the world where people are fighting for their freedom but think about it freedom is free <laughs> Because freedom is also a state of mind. Um, we're all free. We've all been born free. And if you are feeling like you are trapped, uh, if you're in a situation that doesn't become you, that isn't you, or you know deep inside this is not where I want to be, we put ourselves in these places and then a lot of times you can't help it. It's been done to you or you are born into a situation that's very difficult to get out of. So I realize how hard that can be. We talk about animals, for instance, that are confined for, for whatever reason they are being held against their will which in the grand scheme of things it it's not right <coughs> please forgive me i've got asthma and i did take my inhaler this morning i use it always but this cool air sometimes gets the better of me um anyway so think about that one for a second you also realize by <laughs> traffic, by having dogs and cats domesticated, they really are not free, right? We have created that for them uh, to, for many reasons as well. Some have their animals just to say if you have a certain breed well this is a prize and you want to show it off to other people or as my daughter would say because she would get so upset people that would come into the vet office with an animal that was way beyond their control she'd say oh, I guess they look good on a Christmas card because the people would be all over the place and uh, not know how to treat their dog or their cat. They, they were all thumbs because they had the animal for the wrong reasons. So if you think about it, we have created this situation for them. Dogs and cats, they're inside of a home. Like some, I'm in an area where there's a lot of little homeless cats. There's um, homeless dogs. Dogs that are left outside on a chain, sadly, freeze to death. There's just many... I'm kind of straying from what I'm trying to say or, or I'm trying to put into words what I'm trying to say about freedom and that for the most part when it comes to us 
with two legs, we are free. We are capable of living our lives. We are capable of living the life we want to live. Uh, you could say, you know, but I feel trapped or I'm trapped in a life that I don't want to be in. I'm in a relationship I'm not happy in. I'm doing something I don't want to do, but I have to finish it. I feel trapped. Um, think about that. How we put ourselves in these situations and we're trapped in our own thoughts about it in our own minds correct <laughs> there's freedom there's always freedom uh, as I famously say and know that we have free will we all can make choices. And as I just previously explained, some, some are more difficult than others. Or worse yet, I don't even want to say it. People that can't handle it anymore and they choose to let go. We've talked about that too. That's very, that's very touching to my heart. So, rather than be grand and broad, I want to try to keep this about myself. I mean, look at my dog. <laughs> He's not free. Right now, he'd love to run after a few of these birds and squirrels on our walk. <laughs> but I can't let him go because he will run out in front of the car. Anyhow, we have free will, which means we can make a choice. The only thing you don't, well, one of the things you can't control is the outcome of the choice that you make. So you can choose whatever you'd like. You just don't get to pick the outcome. There are many different outcomes depending on your choices. So, <laughs> so I was gonna talk about me freedom, being free, feeling free, letting go of thoughts that don't make me feel good, that keep me stagnant, that keep me closed off, that keep me in a place where I'm unhappy or I can't breathe. I must tell you, these walks in nature are absolutely amazing. Talk about free. The trees that grow, the grass that grows beneath my feet. The world is always changing. It's always growing, thereby changing. Get it? <laughs> we just experienced horrible rain, rainstorms. A lot of people in California got stuck and got in big terrible predicaments, messes, lost their homes, lost, in some cases, lost their lives. We were fortunate, my kids and I, we have a creek right behind our house and it got just high enough, but it didn't come across. It didn't come up over the wall of the uh, hill, but it got right, right to the top of it. And when you look back there now, from all the trees that have succumbed because they have nothing to hold on to, the ground was so wet, muddy, they fell over and they gave in. <laughs> so think about that. Think about life. Think about storm in relation to life. When there's something that 
you could say that has happened beyond your control. But if you think about it, not everybody is in their right moment in time. It goes back to the little scenario I give you about holding onto the wheel of the uh, spinning cups at Disneyland. Hold onto the wheel and look at the person across from you. Now, if you're sitting by yourself, that's difficult. You have no one to focus on. If you could focus, but the cups are not that high. They don't have a wall. So we'll use it. The example of sitting across from someone. Keep your focus. This is when you must realize freedom is within your grasp. It is within your reach. It's when you take your focus off of what it is that you are truly wanting in your life, whom you're wanting, the job you want, the life you want, the creations you want to fulfill. Focus on that instead of the, oh, we're a, we're a oh, what's going to happen? Oh, you know, what if I choose wrong? It's that whole thing of then just make a choice, right? Or being silent. Silence is a statement. Sometimes, though, you must speak. You must, in order to make that change, you've got to speak to change it. <clears throat> so, it's that whole thing of the free will. So we can have freedom. We can have a happy life. We must create that because we are, we are our creators of our own destiny. We create, hang on, there's a, my dog got tangled up in a big twig. Uh, there's a tree here with a lot of <clears throat> branches that have fallen. Anyway, I hope this is making sense. It's, uh, it's left a big catch in my throat right now to be honest with you it's it almost feels like uh, an anxiety attack it's it's very strange but I'm just breathing as I said I took my spray and that probably has a lot to do with it the fact that I was having trouble breathing this morning because it is so cold and the winds cool winds are blowing uh, and this is so cool right here uh, if you guys can see it see this right here someone has created this I if it's the school, the libraries, the city, feeding one person at a time, trying to be of help to our community. And there's a lot of people who are struggling right now because of choices, because of predicaments, uh, situations that they've gotten themselves in. You know, I've uh, read in comments where people will say, well, I'm not responsible for the people out there who don't know how to take care of themselves, that have gotten themselves in a bad situation. Okay, that's your choice. But there's also a lot of people who will reach out and help because my friends, it happens. It can happen to the best of us. I go back to my story after my divor divorce to tell you that my two kids and I were homeless. And that was very, oh my God, that was very humiliating, uh, shocking in a way, because we, my children grew up in the home that they were in. And suddenly it was up for grabs because when you get a divorce, the court steps in and asks things of you that you're not always ready to have to do, to pay your attorneys, to, you know, to pay for your situation. We had to sell our home. And uh, so that left me and my two kids homeless. Hold on, my dog decided to go, hold on, Eddie. He had to go one more time, but that's the purpose of these walks too, to give us both Hold on, sorry, sorry. Sorry to move my camera around so much. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, we were homeless and uh, 
those are life's lessons and that's when you learn when the terrible things happen so when you lose your focus and you lose sight of things and you're not free anymore to make your choice you're kind of up for grabs so people that are down on their luck whether they don't have food or they don't have a home you suddenly start to think you start to think on your feet right and say what was our what do we need to focus on what is our what is our mission a person is coming by I don't want my dog to get so forgive me for a moment <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> what should we be focusing on? Um, all right, Eddie. Good morning. Um, so this was a very scary time for us, but thankfully that was back in 2015, 2016. Uh, the gladly the upheaval has settled and we're good uh, we're still together my two kids and I and we take care of each other and we pretty much live happy lives we don't have the stresses and the turmoil that we had so I'm saying if there's a, a something you want a life you want, a job you want, a relationship you want, a creation that you want to make. It's up to you. Because no one's going to hand it to you. The divine is there with you to lead you, to guide you, to give you the strength and hold you up on your way. You can pray for guidance. Ask, please keep supporting me. Please keep being with me. And they will. But you were born with that mind and body and the situation you're in what did I post this morning on Twitter the happiness comes from being at peace right where you are and with what you have and go from there so when you want to make a change and you want to be free start right now Look at your life today and say, where in my life am I not happy? Pick it, write it down, focus on it, and uh, be grateful for all the good parts of it. It will start to change. Trust me on this, when you're not happy with something, you keep belly aching about it, the divine will help to make that change. The divine will change it for you. <laughs> They'll say, okay, we've heard you belly egg long enough. We're going to make it easy for you. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this message uh, helped somebody today. I just feel right now like I'm going to go home and sit down. And I'm going to paint something. I'm going to write something. I've got a lot of uh, angst going on inside. <sighs> you guys take good care. And I hope that... I hope that... Oh, there was just a Rottweiler lying there at the creek. I hope that uh, you all <laughs> are doing something that you want to do that you're able to make a difference in your life and that you got something from what I suggested for you. <sighs> okay, just need to take a moment and assess. It's a very heavily populated homeless area right there by the creek. Gorgeous dog, but it was a surprise. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, I wish you peace and love and all of life's wonderful things. Get grips on your life and your situation and make it the way you want it. And every day is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. But get your head and your heart in the right place. 
talk to you guys tomorrow or the next day. Bye-bye.